In the 1960s, inside a small factory in Lakewood, Colorado, nobody was trying to save lives. Dwayne Pearsall's company, Statitrol, was just fighting static. Their machines pumped out ions to tame flyaway paper and misbehaving film. Then the complaints started. Field failures, mysterious glitches, irritated customers. Pearsall called in engineer Lyman Blackwell to find the bug. Blackwell cobbled together a test rig, wired a meter to watch the ion flow, and waited. The needle jumped, dropped, twitched again. Every time the lab tech Randy walked in, the readings went haywire. Not when he left. Only when he stood nearby, doing what he always did. Chain smoking. Slowly, the pattern clicked. It wasn't bad electronics. It was invisible particles from Randy's cigarette breaking the ion path. Someone half joked, maybe we should be making smoke detectors. Pearsall took the joke seriously. Within a few years, the beehive-shaped, battery-powered Smoke Guard 700 arrived in living rooms and hallways, turning a cigarette habit and a faulty static machine into one of the quiet lifesavers of the 20th century.